Hello and welcome to the EUC show. It's your man John here and this is the only show on the internet devoted to all things EUC. The place where you can come to be both educated and entertained and who knows, maybe even find yourself along the way. It's News Roundup, the part of the show where I take a look at EUC headlines from around the world. And in the week that Kooji Rolls came out of self-imposed YouTube exile and with some concerns that his legs might have fallen off, I spotted this sign as I walked through a London tube station, reminding me of the Transport for London's ban of PVs on citywide public transport. This was announced a year ago following a number of fires on public transport caused by electric scooters. It's not clear if any of these fires included EUCs, but it was enough for a knee-jerk reaction and for all PEVs to be banned outright. I've done a little research around the world and I don't see similar bans in other major cities. The MTA website in New York, for example, gives no information whatsoever on the ability to bring EUCs onto trains. And I couldn't see anything in Paris either. Dubai, on the other hand, they love electric scooters and see them as a way to help millions of tourists get around easily, cheaply and without clogging up the city with pollution producing cars. Add in the comments below and tell me what the rules are where you live regarding bringing EUCs on public transport. But I think that we are suffering here from a new form of prejudice. PEVism, if you like, because according to the TfL website, other battery vehicles such as electric mobility scooters or folding e-bikes are permitted on their networks. They state the reason for this prejudice is because e-bikes are generally subject to better manufacturing standards and the batteries are usually positioned in a place where they are less likely to be damaged and so are less of a fire risk. I don't smell smoke here, I smell bullshit. A quick Google search reveals that e-bikes are igniting like 4th of July fireworks and this one report from a recent New York publication states that this year there have been around 200 fires and 6 deaths according to New York City Fire Department. Tragically, a horrific fire in India, believed to have been caused by e-bikes being kept on charging mode, destroyed a hotel and killed 8 people. But the rise of e-bikes is unstoppable, with more than 5 million sold in one year alone. And therefore you should expect to see thermal runaway fires on every street corner before long. The truth is, battery fires are most commonly caused by electrical overload, mechanical damage or thermal overloads. So what do we learn from this? Well first of all, people will continue to be afraid of EUCs and see them as a threat, so ban them as knee-jerk reactions or PEVism. And secondly, if you ride your wheel like this, in a way that's likely to cause mechanical damage to batteries, then please don't take them onto public transport. Now it's time for riders and sliders. Here's where I show you some footage of people showing off their skills or getting senselessly hurt. First up is a return to riders and sliders from this amazing young person, Nadia EU Seagull, who made an appearance back in episode five on a bike track. But here she's brought her Kingston S18 into school, presumably to explain to the concerned teaching staff and social workers where all her bruises keep coming from. Here she is being encouraged to do an Evil Knievel style jump high into the air and over the head of someone who is either full of confidence in her abilities or full of medication and cheap vodka. But she is brilliant. And then there is this, and I know it isn't EUCs, but this is again a glimpse of what is to come, with Amard Verne being crowned as the first ever e-scooter champion as the inaugural ESC race season comes to an end. Missed it? This is what you missed. Every race has offs and crashes as riders of both sexes battle it out over heats to see who is crowned race champion. Racing units that are capable of speeds of up to 100 km an hour and with lean angles of positive 55 degrees, riders from teams around the globe are able to get their knee down while attempting to avoid getting their face down. I have put a link to their website in the information below which states that ESC riders aren't only athletes, they will be sporting heroes. 
and informed advocates for sustainable micro-ability. They just won't be allowed to take them on the London Underground. Crash time and first up, look at these heroes trying taking part in their very own race series. What I noticed first of all was how committed he was to this corner. He takes the outside line at full throttle, tries to break and gets a bit of a wobble on, but seems to lean into the bend as if sheer willpower will defy gravity and then it goes down hard on his left wrist. What I noticed next is that the person doing the filming doesn't give two figs about his mate who presumably has been strapped to a board with his neck held in place by splints as he's airlifted for emergency medical treatment. Oh no, he just wants to check how far his EUC has managed to travel without a rider which I have to say is quite an impressive distance. And finally, this individual came under a barrage of abuse for this display of lunacy. I'm guessing he must have been trying to test the softness of tarmac with his face, because I can't think of any rational reason why someone would go flat out on an EUC without safety gear. I'm also guessing that there is a perfect impression of his profile on that spot on the floor, possibly with a couple of his front teeth embedded in the asphalt. And here's the part of the show where I trawl through social media, bringing you the best and often the worst of what it has to offer. And I'm going to be quick here. I spotted this brilliant t-shirt design. I love it. I have put a link to their website in the text below as well. I also spotted this fab personal modification for the V12 and I checked out with the creator. It is indeed all his own work. It got me thinking though, am I the only rider who takes a wheel out of the box, does nothing with it, no pads or anything, and just rides it? It also got me thinking, you know how dogs and owners start to look alike? Well maybe there are some things that influence some EUC modders. What do you think? And finally, I was relieved to see that Bikini Girl has decided to take the advice of so many people and has started to wear more clothes while out riding. Well, it's a step in the right direction, isn't it? And now it's time for Readers Lives. This is the point where I read out some of the comments I've received on my recent videos. And this week is a bit of a different Readers Lives for you. You may have seen in the previous episode that I showed this clip of a rider sliding underneath a turning lorry. I even mocked saying that the EUC rider must have had his eyes firmly shut. Well, that rider got in touch with me, and I thought we should hear directly from him what he has to say. Yeah, hey folks, uh, I was going 60 kilometers an hour. I was just exiting a roundabout, and there was this short truck which was just behind me now. Uh, he passes me, he goes to the rightmost lane, and then he, he starts braking really hard. I'm like, what, 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 what are you doing? And he turns right in front of me. There was literally, uh, you're going 60, so there's literally nothing you can do. And then you see me sliding because I threw myself just to the side. It, it's not very clear at the video, so I hit it with the side. I was rolling down on the floor and then ended up directly underneath it and I turned my head to the side I see there's tires just behind me I pulled my arms and legs you know close to me so I don't get run over and that was fine the truck stopped and that was it like I just got out of it. it it was all good I didn't get any any damage on me my jacket was a bit torn up and that's it it, it was very exciting you know <laughs> So that's it for this week, a bit longer than usual, but I hope you still liked it. If you did, then hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me a lot. Send me your comments, tell me what's going on in your part of the world, and whatever you do, stay safe on those EUCs, boys and girls. Love you. Bye.